what's up with that music? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Think Fifty Shades of Grey is the only hot and sexually charged fan fiction around. <laughs> Think again. Bernie Sanders, would-be president of the United States, wrote some highly controversial fiction in the early 70s that's been turning heads. We decided that we needed to see for ourselves what the socialist vixen authored. So Ben Howe is joining me for a dramatic reading of Fifty Shades of Bernie. Mm. This is actually from his four real essay. Oh, of course there's a slap line, bass line. A man goes home and masturbates his typical fantasy. A woman on her knees, a woman tied up, a woman abused. A woman enjoys intercourse with her man as she fantasizes being raped by three men simultaneously. The man and woman get dressed up on Sunday and go to church, or maybe their revolutionary political meeting. Have you ever looked at the stag? Man, hero, tough. Magazines on the shelf of your local bookstore. Do you know why? The newspapers with the articles like Girl 12 raped by 14 men sell so well. To what in us are they appealing? Women, for their own preservation, are trying to pull themselves for all of humanity that they do so. Slavishness on one hand breeds pigness on the other hand. Pigness on one hand breeds slavishness on the other. Men and women, both are losers. Women adapt themselves to full the needs of men, and men adapt themselves to fill the needs of women. In the beginning, there were strong men who killed the animals and brought home the food and the dependent women who cooked it. No more. Only the rolls remain waiting to be shaken off. There are no human oppressors. Oppressors have lost their humanity. On the one hand, slavishness. On the other hand, pigness. pigness. Six of one, half, half dozen, dozen of, of the, the other. other. Who wins? Many women seem to be walking a tightrope now. Their qualities of love and openness and gentleness were too deeply enmeshed with qualities of dependency, subservience, and masochism. How do you love without being dependent? How do you be gentle without being subservient? How do you maintain a relationship without giving up your identity and getting strung out? Mm. How do you reach out and give your heart to your lover, but maintain the soul which is you? And men, men are in pain too. They are thinking, wondering, what is it they want from a woman? Are they at fault? Are they perpetrating this man-woman situation? Are they oppressors? The man is bitter. You lied to me, he said. You said that you loved me, that you wanted me, that you needed me. Those, Those are, are your words. words. But in reality, he said, if you ever loved me or wanted me or needed me, all of which I'm not certain was ever true, you also hated me. Mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders. And they never again made love together, which they had liked to do more than anything, and never ever saw each other one more. And that concludes Bernie Sanders's essay, which is disgusting and gross. And, and he is a sick man. Sick man. <laughs> <laughs>